Welcome back. You're tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. Now, last year was the hottest year on earth since record, uh, record taking began. Back in, but in 2016, it really is expected to blow this out of the water, um, with according to, which according to experts could trigger the so-called super allergies this summer holiday. And here to discuss this is Mariska van Asvegen, spokesperson from Pharma Dynamics, to help us out a little bit in terms of what we need to know when it comes to allergies. Super allergies, Mariska. Lovely to have you. Hi, this is very interesting. So, so what exactly is super allergies and why does weather play such a significant role? Well, this time of the year and, you know, with the seasonal changes and when the days become longer and hotter, um, some people are prone to allergies. So they are sensitive to certain pollens in the air, which are released by trees and grasses and even, even weeds. So yeah. they, that's a, a, a seasonal phenomenon that's not new to some people. But what we are seeing with global warming is that um, the, the period of the season is prolonged and also the, the amount of pollen that's released into the air is a lot more. So that leads to people uh, having more more severe reactions and it can mm. lead to what is now being referred to as super allergies. Okay, so so, so for people who, who never really suffered from allergies, I mean, is it possible for them to develop allergies over this period of time as well? Um, and who are those type of people who's most susceptible to getting allergies as well? Well, what we are seeing is that people, especially living in towns and in cities that, that um, are highly congested traffic areas and exposed to more, uh, more pollution, those fine particles that's released by the diesel fuels actually sensitize people more towards allergies because it actually um, makes the lining of the, the mucosal lining of the nasal passages and of the airways more sensitive. Mm. So when you are then exposed to pollen and a different type of pollen, which we also see with, this, with the seasonal change or with the, with the global warming that we are, that we are experiencing, um, your airways are already um, primed to an allergic reaction. So if they're then uh, exposed to pollen for a longer period of time, we are starting to see an increase in these, in these yeah. seasonal allergies and these super allergies yeah. as, as it's referred to. Especially like say the, the, the increased warm weather will of course play a significant factor as well. Absolutely. I think, I think we asked this question quite a lot as well before throughout the course of the, you know, a couple of years as well. But I mean, how do you recognize that you do have an allergy? Because I think people confuse it maybe with a common head cold, maybe yes. the start of a flu or something like that. So yeah. what would your advice be? Well, I think the first and foremost is determine if it is an allergy. Okay. So um, uh, uh, there are tests that doctors can do to determine what it is that's causing your allergy. So what the allergens are that you should be um, should be aware of and that you should try to avoid because we always advocate avoidance first or, or yeah. prevention before you actually start to take treatment. Yeah. So first and foremost, get allergy-wise or, or um, uh, allergen-wise to understand what it is that's causing your allergies by doing a test with your doctor. And then if you are, are going on holiday and you're yeah. not in an area where you <laughs> are usually, um, yeah. then make sure that you try to determine what the pollen counts and the pollen in that area is to determine if it is an area that you should avoid try to avoid the peak yeah. pollen times of the day and that's usually early in the morning or early evening so try to um, to, to not be outdoors yeah. if you are prone to allergies or if you note that there's a specific allergen yeah. in that area that um, that you are so sensitive sure we'll, to you will start recognizing it by the you know red eyes itchy eyes nose runny nose runny that kind nose, of stuff yeah absolutely how do we prevent this I mean uh, to make a holiday season enjoyable so you don't end up yeah. suffering from allergies when you are at a beautiful location maybe by the sea somewhere yes absolutely i think the first thing we mentioned just to to yeah. understand what it is that causing allergies for you online um uh, uh, or or even in the local newspapers they do talk about the pollen counts for the day um in those specific areas so you can make sure that you understand what the pollen counts are in that area that you are at if you are going to do a ra road trip it's always advisable to put the aircon on at least 10 minutes before you get into the okay. car um and preferably with the windows open to just get rid of the dust and the mold yeah. in the car before before you embark on your road trip and then when you are actually traveling close the windows yeah. and make sure that you've, you, you you put the aircon on and that is, the newer car models have filters built in so yes. that it can actually prevent those pollen from entering entering the car and then obviously um, you may you know have to choose between a, a shiny nose or a red <laughs> nose but you can just put a petroleum jelly around the no oh, really? nostrils because that just catches the pollen in the air and prevents it from actually entering your airways and causing the allergic reaction so you know there are simple ways for you to yeah. try to prevent um, an allergic reaction well, uh, during the season I'll definitely walk around with a shiny nose as opposed to allergies for sure Mariska thank you so, so much eh? I mean really valuable advice especially heading into the holiday season right now the last thing we want to do is battle with allergies
Absolutely. Thank you. There we go. Some great tips on just avoiding allergies and what we call super allergies going into the holiday season as well. Right now, it's time for the news. Here's the end.